Hey, I'm Alex Ayers, and this week I'll be doing the first time setup for my 3D printer. This is an Anycubic Photon Mono X. It has a 4K screen that can print at 50 micron resolution. The screen is awesome, but it needs to be protected from resin spills. If resin gets onto the screen directly and then cures, when you try to scrape it off, you'll strip off a whole layer of the screen and you'll have to do some repairs, which I'm not looking forward to. The second thing is that if there's a resin spill, it can get down into the machine, and that's just terrifying. That just needs to not happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some screen protectors down to make sure that that doesn't happen. The screen of the surface is actually very slightly recessed compared to the rest of this surface here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the manufacturing screen protector that is supposed to come off right away and has some blemishes in it anyway and we're going to replace it with a slightly better, slightly thicker screen protector that'll make up that difference and make it level all the way across. And then we'll take a second, bigger screen protector and put it all the way across everything. Now that we've put in the smaller screen protector to effectively raise the height of the screen a little bit, we're going to take this bigger screen protector and put it over the whole thing. Now that we've plugged it in, we can turn it on, raise up the arm, and put on the platform. Before we put on the platform, I'm going to loosen these screws so that the platform is loose on this connection, and then later when we drop it down, I'll tighten them up when they're in the exact correct position. Now that I've loosened it, you can see how this piece can jiggle around. Put this on here and screw it in. Now that I've put on the build plate, we can put on their special paper that'll be used for leveling. This is just this is just regular paper. When I lose this, I can use regular paper, it'll be fine. Um, put this under there and then hit home and it will send. Now we make sure this is all the way down. Hand tight first. The last step is just hitting Z equals zero, which will save this as the zero setting, so that when it's printing letter later, it'll come down to here and then come back up. And finally, we'll remove the paper and we'll install the last little bits. This is the resin vat that we'll put the resin into. Slide it in there. We've got special bolts to fit. The last piece to install is this little antenna that goes onto the back right corner. It's recommended to use a flash drive for more consistency, but if we really wanted to, we could get 3D prints onto the printer using the Wi-Fi. And there you have it. At this point, we can pour some resin in here, 
do some final settings for the particular resin we're using, and get to printing. The lid both keeps dust out of the printer and keeps light inside the printer when it's printing. I think I'm going to take a break from 3D printing, and next week I'm going to go back and finish up the ring I started a couple weeks ago. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Thomas Jefferson's coming home.